error, okay? Um, the reason I wanted to do this, though, because if I were to, if you were to do this by hand, it'd take forever to copy it, it's okay. All right, can I just get the values here for these so you guys can confirm? Can somebody give me the three values for B, T1, T5, and T23? Yeah, so 5 times 1 squared is 2, good. T5 equals? Uh, 1 so 5 squared is 25 times 5, so 122, good. And T is 23. A little slower? Not there. Okay. Does everyone confirm that? Everyone's got those numbers, I hope? Yes? Okay, now this one's going to be a little bit messier because there's exponents. Okay. If you think of, can I please do this, guys? If you think of 4 to the x, Okay, the numbers are get really, really big in a hurry. So by the time you get to 23, um, when we did the graphs, this would be like way off, very, very high. Can someone be brave and give me the first two, then we'll deal with the second one. Oh, wait, go ahead. Okay, I have one small problem. Okay. That's going to be a positive. I definitely didn't. Now, this, this one just stop, 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 stop. Okay, let's explain why it's going to be all racist and we'll try why it's going to be. Okay, so what's going to happen for this one? We're going to say t1 equals negative 4 to the 1 minus 1, which is negative 4 to 0. What's anything to the power of 0? 1. Okay, even if it's negative, it's going to be 1. t to the 5 is going to be negative 4 to the 5 minus 1, which is negative 4 to the 4. Now, before we do this answer out, if I have to the power 4, will the answer be positive or negative? Why does it have to be positive? Because it being a positive sign. Yeah, positive times a positive. Or any even number will end up being positive. Right, it wouldn't end up negative. So it went to negative. So that's 4 to the 4, I just found that. Is that 2 to 6? Yeah, so it should just be positive 2 to 6 then instead of negative. If you couldn't get that on your calculator, I'd probably just like, do it with a bracket like that, right? Negative 4 to the 4, and that should do it. All right, Owen, redeem yourself. Can you do the 23? Because this is going to be huge. Uh, 1.75. Yeah, I got with that. So the way we did this is negative 4 to the power of 23 minus 1, which is negative 4 to the 22, which is that big number. Yeah. Can you ask the last question how we like, wrote out all the zeros? Yes. Two questions. Are we able to actually do that? No. Okay. And if there's like ten decimals, that's the number of decimals. One more time. Okay. So, so it's like one point seven five nine two, and I would write out the thirteen zeros after all. Yeah. So what would happen is this: it would be thirteen after the decimal. Okay. Okay. So there'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's thir This is the time seven and thirteen is there. Right so like, it's that one thing like after the decimal. You guys do this in science class, I hope you do. Nobody does this in science. Maybe you all your science teachers. One person does it in science, that's good, Kylie, okay? And no one else does, okay? You, you just, scientific notation, I think you should do. You should do scientific notation. Nobody's not in that one. Oh, Loney, it's grade nine, I think, isn't it? This year, yeah, it should have been. Okay. Okay, here we go. Uh, now for this one here, this is gonna be a little bit messier here. Can I get a break so uh, to raise your hand that hasn't raised their hand today? Somebody new. T to the one. What's this one equal? Somebody new. Somebody new, please? You're not new. You guys are both old. Somebody new. <laughs> Oh, good golly, Miss Molly. This is why Spider-Man gets passed around. If teachers are watching this, when there's a lull in your class like this, tell a quick joke and then make somebody answer a question. All right, Noah, how do I T1, what do I do? It doesn't hurt on this one. I know you guys think that you have super duper chocolates can do it in there. It doesn't yeah, hurt. Be, wouldn't that be six? <laughs> Naturally. Oh. I'll just edit that out of the video so none of the math teachers will know what they are. Welcome back. Okay, T2. Uh, Can somebody else do T2, please? T5. 
Fire wing, yes. Yeah, that's an answer. Five times four, all over two times seven, which is going to be twenty over fourteen, which is ten over seven. So we confirm that for me. Now somebody was going to ask, and I think they already did. Mr. Sadler, can I do this in fraction? Can I, can I do this in decimal? Can I guess what the answer is going to be? No. Definitely not ever. I was joking around in my morning class. I'll tell the same joke now. Okay. There's a kid in my morning class who wants to be a doctor. He said, can I round? I say, if you're operating on my heart, I don't want you to say your heart is eh, maybe here, close to this spot. I want you to know it's exactly right here when you're doing the operation, okay? So please be exact for this. Can I get a third person to do T23, please? Oh, goodness. Chris, since you're the only person raising your hand, go ahead, please. into 23 times 22 over 2 times 25. I can't do it in my head. Can you do that? Thank you very much. And that shall be break down a little bit. 253 over 25. Is that right? Okay, good. All right, so hope we can see when you have the equation, life is easy. Okay. When life is not easy is when you don't have the equation. That's going to be the next part of the lesson. Um, one thing I should just note here for this is that um, these, when graphing, uh, sequences are not continuous. So if I was doing a, a sequence here like this, so there's T1, there's T2, there's T3. Okay. What that means is you leave dots in there because the example would be T1.5 um, may be calculated but doesn't exist. Uh, so no line. Does that make sense, right? If you're doing a pattern for this, if I know the pattern is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4. My pattern is going to be Tn equals n, okay, right? But I can't say what's the 1.5th term. You can get a mathematical value for it, right? But there's no, if you remember, there's no logical number. Yes. So is that like saying you can, you can technically have half a burger, but no one's going to sell you half a burger? Something like that. Yes. Um, and going the other way too, once you have an equation and you're looking to solve for n, which we will be doing in this class for sure, um, you have to have a whole number answer for everything. Yeah. Yeah. So how Um, okay, example three we're up here. It says, uh, find the general term of the sequence. Okay, so this is where light like, starts to get a little bit more uh, difficult for you guys. We'll um, go through many ways to do this. I'm going to start with a different way today um, because this will work for any case. This is a nice, beautiful pattern. Going back to grade 9, what type of equation should this be looking at it? Good, okay, we're going back to grade 9. What would it be? Linear, this is going to be for sure. Okay, so the way I'm going to do this here, I'm just going to write out. I have T1, T2, T3 equals. So I have 4, I have 6, and I have 8. What's the pattern we need each time here, Liam? What do we do? I'm going to go back to T0 just for fun. Okay. What's, uh, what would T0 be if I had to go back if there's such a thing? What would T0 be? Zero. Okay. So the reason I want to do that. I'm going to slow down a sec here, so I'm sure it's the same again. Happy birthday, Cole, if I haven't told you that yet. Okay, what you want to do in a sequence is you want to be able to relate something to the previous term. How do I relate T1 um, to T0? Okay, a little 
So how do I write T1 to T0? What do I do? Stay with me, please, guys. Stay with me, right? Yeah. So what I'm going to say for this, I'm just going to add, say, 2 plus 2, right? No, sorry about that. Okay. Uh, this I'm going to say I just did is 4 plus 2. This I got a 6 plus 2. I'm going to change this then to 2 times 1 plus 2. This is 2 times 2 plus 2. And this is 2 times 3 plus 2. Therefore, my equation is going to be what? Did I write that? 2 times plus 2. And again, if you can get this in your head without my method, you can do that. Okay, that's fine. All right, but the idea is generally what you're going to want to do is go back to the first to the zero term value of your starting point, right? And then use the pattern after that. What you're trying to do in here is to get, like this is your n right there, right? Like that's the idea. You want to get the n into the equation somewhere because that'll make your life easier, okay? So the n is the only thing that should be changing. Does that sort of make sense a little bit? So this is hard. This is a harder concept here, right? We'll do this in the next few weeks. So that's how that works. What are those things like uh, uh, possibilities? Yeah, we'll deal with that. The Nazi. We'll deal with that uh, later on today. Okay, let's do one more here. What's our pattern for this one going to be? You know, we're going to multiply by two each time, right? So I'm going to write here T1 equals 3, T2 equals 6, T3 equals 12. What would the T0 be if I had to go backwards? What would T0 be? Mm -hmm. Nope. Like, like, mm -hmm. Nope. 1.5, okay. So how'd you get that? Sorry? Right. I'm going to call it 3 over 2 so I like that and better. Okay, so this is what I want to do for this one here. So for 3, we should say it's 3 over 2 times 2. Right? That's how we got that. How'd you get 6 then? Okay, please play along here, guys. I know this is a hot day and it's already dismissal. But do you remember all of my colleagues and my boss, and my boss's boss will be watching this video? Okay, so I want them to say how excited my 3 math classes are those sequences. Yes? 6 over 2 times 2. Uh, not 6 over 2 times 2. So the reason we got the 3 over 2, that was the term before, right? So you'd see this, this is just going to be 3 times 2. I don't like that, though, okay? That is correct, but I'm going to call it instead 3 over 2 times 2 times 2. Why do I like the second version better? Please play along. Why do I like the second version better? Yeah, Matt? It's sum the same. Was that? It is somewhat the same. Very good. Because how many times what T3 is going to be? What's T3 going to be? Right on. Right on. Right on. Can somebody put these into math equations for me? How about the way I can write 3 over 2 times 2 times 2 times 2? What's that the same as? Yeah, 3 over 2 times 2 cubed. Right? So this is going to be 3 over 2 times 2 squared. This is 3 over 2 times 2 to the 1, and magically this is 3 over 2 times 2 to the 0. Okay. As I help this question, your job is to make a general equation for Tn right now. Another that. Glad, I'm glad you got this. Let's get someone else to try here, please. I'm going to pause and let's stop. Probably.